Now at six, with all the new technology industries coming to Central Ohio, there's no shortage of manufacturing jobs, but there is a shortage of qualified workers to fill these roles. And now employers are trying to fill thousands of manufacturing jobs every year, while thousands more are on the horizon as intel and suppliers move into Central Ohio. Yeah, experts say these jobs pay well and don't require a four-year degree. TNTV's Doug Petcash spoke with a local community college trying to fill what they call a hole in the workforce. Let's <laughs> the manufacturing industry is growing in central Ohio. We don't have to wait for them. Uh, there are already jobs here in central Ohio in semiconductor and related fields. That's why Columbus State Community College is working to fill what Assistant Dean Mark Mahoney calls a hole in the workforce. Well, there is such a vast a uh, hole in this market that a lot of individuals who would have retired already have maybe officially retired and have been brought back on. That hole was already big back in 2020. They estimated annually that we would be trying to fill over 7,000 jobs in the engineering tech field. And it's likely to double in size as big tech moves into Boomtown. Intel is a big part of it, but they're not the only company that's coming into the area and they won't be the last one either. Students at CSCC can earn a certificate in semiconductor manufacturing and soon they'll be able to get a degree. Mahoney says the college is also training students to work for the suppliers following Intel into the region. Intel makes the semiconductor chips, but they don't make the machines that make that. So that company will have a presence here as well. They'll be hiring our students. In Columbus, Doug Petcash, 10 TV News. Well, Mahoney tells us the demand is so high that some CSCC students get hired before they even graduate. He says the jobs pay well, too. According to Intel, 70% of its Ohio workforce will be semiconductor technicians with a median salary of $55,000 a year. 